Good morning, modern Steaders. This morning, we're going to be building the form for our concrete desktop we're going to be making for our desk that we've been patiently been waiting to build since we built our house. We ordered the Quickcrete countertop mix. That's what we made our kitchen island top out of. To make our form, we have a half inch sheet of foam that we're going to line our form with. We have our 2x4s for making the sides. We're going to be making the base out of plywood. that will be covered by the foam. If it's not making sense, it'll all come together in a few minutes. There's our large soil block maker. If you didn't see the video on that, I'll put a link to that video right here. The first thing I did when I was at Lowe's, I looked for the straightest 2x4s I could get, which always isn't easy. Second thing I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to look through the four 2x4s I got and pick the straightest two. These are going to be for our long section. I got my two straightest ones and I'm going to cut these ones down to 57 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now I need to cut my side lengths, which is going to be 27 inches. The rain was supposed to hold off a lot longer than it did, but I guess it decided it wanted to start raining earlier here. Now that we have our boards all cut to length and we ripped them all down to the correct width, we're going to start screwing them together. While we're doing this, we need to keep track that they're nice and square. I ripped down three sheets of plywood that will fit perfectly to make our base layer. Another way you can make sure that your form is square, if you have your factory edges on your plywood, start screwing one end, keeping it flush, and then work your way up, making sure it's flush, and that will keep your form nice and square. I just ended up cutting a bunch of 2x4s the same width as our desktop and screwed them to the bottom. This way we have feet and it will keep our bottom nice and straight. I don't have to worry about the center of it bowing and not having a perfectly flat top.
keeping the factory edge up so I have a nice straight bottom. If your edge in here isn't perfectly straight, that's all right. You got one more step to do that'll resolve that issue. I like it so far. I'm gonna get two more pieces of foam cut. Now that I have my form lined with foam, I'm using 100% silicone. I want to put a nice bead all the way around on all of my edges. This is going to give me a nice line when the top comes out of the form. So when we built our house, we built a walk-in pantry and we left a little nook cut out to put a desk right here. We have the family computer. We can be doing all of our family work. Olivia can use the computer right there. And we made our kitchen island. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. We found these nice old antique corbels at a local antique shop. And it just so happened they had three. So we're gonna use that for our outside leg of our desk. And Gina found some nice metal baskets to put on the other side that files fit in. And those will be our drawers. That's what you have to look forward to in our upcoming videos on the concrete desktop. Lord willing and the creek don't rise, we'll be back here tomorrow pouring the concrete for our concrete desktop. Getting like an inch of rain today, it's crazy. We got two and a half, three feet of snow out there. So hopefully we don't get too bad of flooding. It's in the 50s today with an inch of rain and about three feet of snow to melt. Fingers crossed, we'll be back here tomorrow pouring the concrete. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.